Markets, I guess, down 460 points right now for the Dow. Well, I'm saying if you own a farm and you're worried about selling your farm because you read the newspaper this morning, or if you own a, a perfectly decent business in your town and you're worried about selling your, you think you should worry about selling your business today because of that, then you should think about, worry about thinking about, about selling stocks. But if you look at stocks as businesses that you own little pieces of, why in the world should you uh, sell it based on on headlines of any sort? I mean, if, if you expect a business, if you expect a farm to be a good investment over ten years, if you expect an apartment house to be a good investment over ten years, and if you own a, a marketable security, which is an interest in a business, and you expect that business to be a good business over ten years, uh, it's nonsense to get feeling good or bad about what stock prices do in a day, unless you have extra money. And they go down, and then you feel better because you can buy more of them cheaper. Just like if you could buy the farm right next to you cheaper, you'd, you'd, you'd love that if you were a farmer. You know, usually that's an analogy that I understand and agree with. But this time around, a farm in particular, I would be pretty worried if I was a farmer trying to figure out if I should be planting soybeans or if I think I'm going to be able to make enough money to get things back this time around. Yeah. Tariffs have hit the farmers particularly hard, and a lot of them have said they're behind the president. They want to see us get to a better situation. But many of them are also in a position where... Look, they've already asked, been asked to give a lot. They thought we were about to reach a deal, and they're hoping that, that when they're making decisions for this planting season, they have some clarity. Well, it is true that business generally has improved, markets improved, and everything, and the farmer has not participated in that. So this has been a very good economy for a long time. I mean, it, we've been coming back for eight or nine years, and businesses kept getting better. Uh, interest rates have been low for business. Uh, stocks have gone up. And the farmer has not participated uh, the same way. Uh, so maybe I shouldn't have used that example. But they, if you have a decent business, I mean, you, you buy into a business. You don't buy a stock that wiggles around, you know. And, and, and people understand that. But then they behave as if it's bad news when the, business, the price goes down. If, if you had a half interest in a wonderful business and the person that owned the other half came in and they were depressed by these headlines today and they said, I'll sell to you my my share of the business mm -hmm. a lot cheaper than yesterday because I think this whole thing is going to just end the world. You, you just say, here, <laughs> I, yeah, I wish you weren't so depressed, but, <laughs> but if you're selling me to me cheaper, you know, the business is going to be here five years from now and 10 years from now. And all headlines, I, you don't know what the world's going to look like in three years or five years or 10 years. What you do know is that the United States is going to grow over time and that businesses are going to generally do well. And if you own decent businesses, you'll make money. That, that's a great long-term perspective. Uh, but for the shorter term, not just for stock prices, even for uh, companies that are trying to think about their quarterly earnings or trying to figure out how they're going to be able to pay for some items or figuring out how the relationship with the supplier is going to work at this point, it, it could be an impact pretty, that's fairly well, you have large to run your, I mean, in the short to medium that. term. Our right? own subsidiaries, obviously, where they thought that tariffs could be increased, They've loaded up more on inventory. I mean, you, know, you 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 make business decisions, but you don't make a decision about whether to buy or sell the business if you've got a good business. And you've got to, if you're going to own a business for ten years, you're going to see a lot of terrible headlines. Mm -hmm. You know, I bought into my first business in 1942, and you know, they didn't notice that I did. <laughs> <laughs> but just imagine all those headlines at that time, and the world. You know, the, the Philippines were falling. I mean, we were losing the war, mm -hmm. and uh, but the United States. Is going. Your kids are going to live better than you did, and your grandchildren are going to live better than they do. And and generally speaking, productive assets are going to be worth more in this country. And if you own a diversified group of of productive assets, uh, you'll do fine as long as you don't read the papers. Although you did say an hour ago that the sell-off when the Dow was down by about 500 points was not an undue sell-off, was not overdone at that point. If we actually get into raising tariffs by 25 percent. Well, maybe. A, it, it may not be undue. I mean, it, it, in in the day or the week, but uh, you shouldn't. Be, uh, I don't have the faintest idea how to buy and sell stocks for a day or a week or a month. I know how to buy businesses for a long period of time. I'll be wrong on some of them. You won't be wrong on America. In terms of that, when you look at the markets today, if you see cheaper prices, would that mean that you would buy more of a stock that you might have bought last week? Yeah, well, some of them will hit levels that I might have been below. I will always react well 
to declining prices. But uh, if I like if I like to buy a business, you know, if, if I could buy this hotel we're in and they drop the price, is that good news or bad news for me? <laughs> I mean, if I like to buy hotels. So, uh, but the fundamental point, and some people get it, some don't, but when you are buying a stock, you, you're not buying something that wiggles around or is on a chart or has a target price. You're buying part of a business. If you're right about the business, you don't pay a crazy price. You can be, you can be right about the stock as long as you don't do dumb things yourself. <laughs>